guys welcome back to world illuminate 11 on this thursday i hope you're having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here and if you are looking to have a personal reading done or a one-on-one -on -one session which is all about regaining or standing in your power then you can contact me via my email or my website my details are in the description box below you can also check out my january blog post that i wrote that is called twin flame love uh, love like no other the link is also in the description box below so for this video we are going to bring in four decks we're just going to check in to see what we need to know when it comes to the love you know to your twin flame love what the angels would like you to know today so we're starting with uh the um lover's oracle so thank you angels what what do we need to know today when it comes to love what do we need to know today when it comes to love okay and then we are also going to bring in this one's really jumping out as well and we are also going to bring in um the soul connections when two hearts meet. Thank you, angels. What do we need to know today when it comes to love? What do we need to know today? Wow, really jumping out. And then the romance angels as well. Thank you, angels. What do we need to know today when it comes to love? And we'll finish off with uh, the uh, answers from the no angel answers. Thank you, angels. What do we need to know when it comes to love? What do we need to know when it comes to love? What do we need to know? Thank you, angels, when it comes to love. What do we need to know from this deck when it comes to love? Okay, so let's see what cards have come out here. So, wow, okay. So the first card that came out is acceptance, and it's this beautiful card here. And it says, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change that which is beyond your control. So really powerful message that is coming through here. This is about acceptance. You know, when it comes to this journey, it's about you understanding that this journey is a journey that comes from the creator and the creator is in charge of this journey. But this is also in other areas of your life. You know, anything that you may be trying to make changes when things are beyond your control, it's about you getting to that place of acceptance. When you find when you have acceptance you know for things as they are you know and understand that everything is what the way that it is meant to be because there's always a bigger picture that helps you to find inner peace it's when you try and control things that you have no control over that or you know when you are in this place of worry and not accepting things for what they are because you want things to be a certain way and you know that gives you so much pain and anxiety but it is about acceptance so it's about you accepting the situation as it is when it comes to your journey with your divine masculine know that it is all happening for the highest good of all and you know and that helps you to find that inner peace so that's the message that's coming through you're being asked to have acceptance it's about accepting yourself for who you are as well but when it comes to love you're being asked today to be in that place of accepting you know the situation with your divine masculine as it is and know that it is all working out for the highest good of all there is a bigger picture that is helping everything to fall into place so that it all comes in for you at the right time and then the next cards that came out so the next one is secret admirer and it says someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on so the angels are saying to you today someone's heart is beating for you you know there are those vibrations of that love you know of them thinking about you that is your divine masculine you know they have deeper feelings for you than they're letting on i mean as a divine feminine you know this already but the angels are confirming to you that you know they may not be letting you know but they are your secret admirer and they have those deeper feelings for you than they're letting you know and then the next two cards were actually messages and um it's really powerful because i was putting the cards and this one was literally jumping out so this one says my beloved though we may be physically apart spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time nothing is missing so what a beautiful message that's your divine masculine sending you that message your secret admirer with those deeper feelings for you saying to you even though we may be physically apart spiritually we are always united because you and your divine masculine are always together you know you are within each other and you know and you always feel each other as well uh, you know on the higher realms on the, the higher realms you uh 5d and higher you are already in union you know it is just about it catching up 
on the physical as well and i wrote about this you know in my in my blog post um it's, it's interesting that i talked about it as well at the beginning so do check that out the twin flame love a love like no other you know in the higher realms you're already in union so it's about you knowing that you know even though you're physically apart spiritually you're always united and you know so nothing is missing it's about you realizing that nothing is missing because you are always together and connected and the last card that came out for is a message for you and it's a beautiful message as well and it says i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you what a beautiful message to come through to you today you know when i uh, from your divine masculine letting you know or from your divine feminine if you are a divine masculine watching this is a message for you and your divine masculine or your divine feminine is saying to you i'm thinking of you at this very moment your love fills me with light and that's the love that you know the light that shines through from you as well so the love that you have it fills your divine counterpart with light and they're saying to you i love you what a beautiful message. And then the cards that came out from the um, soul connections when two hearts meet. So the first card that came out is learn. And it says, let love show you how to learn from each other. So really powerful as well. You can see it's like those, uh, they look like swans actually in a way. But, you know, this is about, it's a book that is open. So this is about learning. So, you know, you are really realizing that you know this journey is teaching you your divine masculine or your divine feminine is your greatest teacher and you are on this journey of learning and the love that you share is what is teaching you so many things on your journey you know it is what is helping you to grow learn who you truly are as well and learn about love you know to move away from love and the conditions that society had taught you to put on love and really get to learn about unconditional love and also be loved. So you are learning a lot because of this love. And the next card that came out is yin and yang. And it says like the yin and yang symbol, twin flames contain an aspect of each other's character within themselves. So really powerful. You know, the, I was talking about your divine masculine is within you. You are within them. So you are being reminded that you, you both have an aspect of each other's character within yourselves so you know there are similarities in the way that you are you may be different in all sorts of ways but there are similarities in the way that you are and also you know you are always together because you are within each other so really powerful that that has come out and the next card that came out is soul and it says your soul is preparing to reconnect trust the process so really powerful as well that this has come out because your soul is one soul, you and your divine masculine that is just in two different bodies and is preparing to reconnect. This time of learning, this time of separation in the physical, this is a time for you both to heal and grow and, you know, see things from a different perspective and learn the things that you need to learn. And, you know, so that you can get to that place of unconditional love and then be able to come together and your soul is preparing to reconnect so this time of you being in separation is actually a time for preparation for your soul to reconnect so you're being asked to trust the process really powerful that that has come out the next card that came out is 11 11 and it says 11 11 is an important number for twin flames it symbolizes the harmony and balance of of soul counterparts so you may be seeing 11 11 or your divine masculine is seeing 11 11 you're being shown that you know it is symbolizing that harmony of uh, and balance of of the of you and your divine masculine of your twin flame connection and the last card that came out is marriage and it says a marriage of souls is a union of two divine counterparts blending together so this is also showing you what is to come in for you and your divine masculine. You know, it may be something that you both desire and that commitment is coming in. You are going to have that chance to walk down the aisle, have that marriage and, you know, the beautiful wedding that you may be dreaming of. And but it's also showing you as well that you two are coming into union. That's that higher commitment that is coming in for you. You know, that's the two divine counterparts blending together. You know, when it comes to the the higher realms you're already in union you already have this marriage but this is about that coming in for you as well on the 3d so really powerful that those cards have come out and then the cards that came out from the um from the 
uh, Romans angels. So the first one is chemistry. And it says there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So the angels are reminding you that between you and your divine masculine, there is a strong magnetic attraction here. So it's about you continuing to trust in this love and trust in the process and know that it is all coming in. And then the next card that came out is this could be the one. And it says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So the angels are reminding you or confirming to you that you've already met your divine masculine or your divine feminine. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Everything that is happening right now is preparing you for that union to come in as well on the 3D. So really powerful. Romantic feelings was the next one. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you're being reminded, you're being shown here that the feelings that you have, you know, the way that you feel in your heart, whether you're divine masculine or a divine feminine they are worth exploring and if you are a divine masculine this is a message for you to move forward with those feelings and you know they are real it's about you releasing the fears and explore these feelings go further with these feelings you know focus on what you'd want to have in your life and know that you know they are romantic feelings that are really guiding you to the life that you truly desire to the love that you desire as well and the next card that came out is love yourself first so really powerful that this this has come out and it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and it's powerful that it came out during this month of february which is the month of self-love so the more you are focusing on self-love and loving yourself the more you are attracting that love is well that you desire that union you know for everything to fall into place for you so the angels are saying to you Focus on self-love this month because your self-respect, your loving yourself, your self-care, your, you know, doing everything for yourself, it makes mo you more romantically attractive. And it is going to attract that love that you truly desire into your life. So really beautiful messages. And then the cards that came out from the angel answers. So the first card that came out is ask your angels. If there's anything that you are wondering about when it comes to this love, ask your angels. Speak to your angels. Angels, they are always there ready to help you. So it is about you speaking to them. And the next card that has come out is opportunity. So you're being shown that there is an opportunity that is coming in to move things forward as well when it comes to this love. Because the question that we asked was what is going on when it comes to this love. So the angels are showing to you, are showing you that there is an opportunity that is coming in to bring in the love that you desire. You know, so for now, focus on on you, focus on self-love and know that that is attracting the opportunity and the things that you truly desire into your life. And the next card that came out is abundance. So the angels are saying you are going to have all the abundance that you desire in your life. You know, you're going to have abundance in all areas of your life. Abundance in love, abundance in, um, you know, resources and all the other things in health and all the other things that you desire. So it's about you starting with that self-love and know that great things are coming in for you. You know, abundance is coming in. And then the next card that came out for you. So, so we've got, first of all, we've got a no. So the angels are saying to you here, you know, no, this may not be the right time for things to come in, but it is all coming in because the next card that we have is within the next few months. So the angels are saying, you know, no, it may not be the time right now, because certain things are still being um, prepared, you know, when it comes to this love, but know that it is all coming in within the next few months. So powerful that this card has come out because there was a card about opportunity and, you know, there was a card about abundance. So all these things are coming for you within the next few months. When it comes to this love as well, these things are coming in in abundance. You know, the opportunity for this love is coming in within the next month. And the angels are also saying yes. So they saying to you yes within the next few months it is all going to happen for you so it's about you standing in the place of trusting in the process trusting in this love having faith that everything is being prepared so that it comes in for you no it no it may not be the time right now but yes it is coming in and it's all coming in within the next few months you will have the abundance yes you will have abundance in all areas of your life yes you will have abundance in the love that you desire yes you will have uh, an opportunity to get together with your divine masculine yes you will have the union that you desire 
So those are the messages that are coming through uh, when it comes to love today. Really beautiful messages coming through from the angels. I hope you have a great day, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Love, peace, positivity, and light.